Good day everyone, I am Professor Shahid Hassan from School of Medicine, IMU with micro learning course on laryngeal examination. The current micro learning content of this course is first of a series of three skills procedures required for semester 7 students in their task based learning theme of hoarseness and strider. This micro learning content will consume 5 minutes and 30 seconds for you to watch. The single learning outcome for this micro learning content is to demonstrate the examination of larynx using IDL or indirect laryngoscopic method. Students in their clinical phase or for that matter in medical sciences phase of training must be well informed of all clinical skills procedure in undergraduate program categorized into need to know versus nice to know and acceptable to know skills procedures understood at clinical competency of Miller's pyramid of knows, knows how and shows how respectively. Indirect laryngoscopy or ideal here is a need to know core clinical skills procedure at shows how level which every student must know how to demonstrate. Direct laryngoscopy or DL is a nice to know procedure at knows how level whereas laryngeal endoscopy is an acceptable procedure at knows level of Miller's clinical competency pyramid that is optional for students to learn. Indirect laryngoscopy or IDL examine larynx from inside to observe some important structures of the indolarynx using a gauze sponge and a mirror besides head light. Almost six to eight structure can be examined through IDL, but another three making it 11 structure with the students must memorize needs other procedures to observe. Vocal cord mobility is also tested by asking the patient to say ah or e and the vocal cord movements as normal, sluggish or fix ah, observe and record it. The mirror view will show orientation of larynx with anterior commissure projected upwards in the mirror as is shown in the pictures below. Now it is time to watch the video how IDL is performed in a clinical setting letter but first uh, ideal so ideal uh, this, there are two instruments needed uh, one is the gauze piece and other is the mirror apart from this um, uh, we have to either we can use an sprit lamp to warm it up do, don't warm it up from the metallic surface warm it up from the from the uh, mirror surface then or you dip it in hot water or antifog application will will uh, uh, will not uh, uh, because when we are examining patient is breathing there might be a fogging, right? So to avoid that, we use three methods. Okay, now next is that I will unroll this gauze piece, right? And then uh, make it a little more uh, thinner. Uh, open your mouth, take your tongue out. We place it over the tongue, we hold it like this. So after having dipped in the hot water, our anti-fog applied already. I bring this mirror in, right, and I hold it. I go from the lateral side and then bring it in and then hold it. Can you breathe from your mouth? Okay. Uh, and then hold it in front of the uvula, right? Uh, in front of the uvula and then we, this way. In ideal, we can examine almost six structure of the indolarynx, not all 10 to 11 structures. You may watch two more five minutes each micro learning contents to complete the micro learning course in examination of uh, uh, larynx relevant to TBL theme of hoarseness and strider in semester seven of the MBBS program. The other two micro learning contents are micro learning content two, nice to know on direct laryngoscopic examination or the DL and micro learning content three, acceptable to know on endoscopic laryngeal examination. In summary, IDL or indirect laryngoscopic examination is an important need to know procedure 
that every student must know how to demonstrate. IDL provides initial clinical examination findings that helps in the diagnosis of laryngeal diseases with focus on the vocal cord and its movement. Based on ideal finding, physician may further refer the case to ENT surgeon for further examination using direct laryngoscopy or endoscopic laryngeal examination. Ideal procedure becomes important clinical examination of the larynx at primary healthcare level where the clinics may lack the facility of endoscopic laryngeal examination.